The anti-submarine continuous trail unmanned vessel named the Sea Hunter departs Pearl Harbor to begin the at-sea phase of Rim of the Pacific, July 11, 2022. Just several weeks earlier, China revealed to the world video footage of a remarkably similar vessel conducting sea trials. To start the Sea Hunter story, we need to go back a few years to 2016 here in San Diego with the launch of the Sea Hunter, designated as the medium displacement unmanned surface vehicle. The 40 meter long vessel, 132 feet, Tramaran, is designed to be an unmanned self piloting craft with twin screws. She is powered by diesel engines, giving her a top speed of 27 knots or 31 miles per hour. The 135 ton ship will be required to find and track enemy submarines and as such will need to remain at sea for long periods. The vessel can hold 40 tonnes of fuel giving the potential 70 days at sea dependent on sailing conditions before refuelling. The video shows the vessel preparing for sea trials and at this stage in 2016 is not fitted with the full suite of various sensors and optical guidance and radar systems for fully autonomous operations these will be fitted as she undergoes further developments. The vessel is however fitted with a temporary operator control station during the testing period for safety and backup. In 2018, the US Defense Research Agency, the developer of Sea Hunter, completed its initial development including at-sea tests with a mine countermeasures payload and handed over Sea Hunter to the Office of Naval Research. It was in 2018 that Sea Hunter had become the first ship of any description to ever sail from San Diego, California to Pearl Harbor, Hawaii and back without the need of a crew for navigation and steering, a round trip of more than 5,200 miles. In the meantime, China was very likely watching the development of Sea Hunter and just like the US Navy, was beginning to realise the many possibilities this type of craft would bring to a naval force. US commanders were already discussing the possibility of arming the Sea Hunter to conduct anti-submarine warfare or be fitted with defensive and offensive weapon systems to provide cover to US Navy ships. It is thought the Chinese unmanned service vessel with a total displacement of 200 tonnes was officially launched in secret in Zhejiang City, Jiangxi province in August 2019. The vessel underwent its first sea trials on a lake. According to the People's Republic of China state media, the unmanned capable trimaran surface vessel shown here in this video was filmed June 10th, 2022 and has met all expectations in its initial sea trial with some of its technological specifications described as world leading by developers Viking Intelligence. The vessel completed its three hour maiden sea voyage offshore of Zhushan in the eastern province of Zhejiang. The Chinese vessel looks to still be in development and may be lacking a fully available optical guidance and radar system, although the cone structure or conical mass on top of the large bridge area could well contain most of the sensor equipment it needs. The large cabin and bridge area suggests room for a crew, allowing either manned operations or autonomous operations. It's clear the Chinese have gained some design inspiration from the US Navy Sea Hunter. It's not a direct copy but its fundamental trimaran design is remarkably similar. It's larger than the Sea Hunter, probably, and it's a guess, 40 feet longer at 179 feet or 54.5 meters and would be capable of over 20 knots. What is certain, the Sea Hunter and its future variants are relatively cheap to build and with operating costs around $10,000 a day, compare that with the Navy destroyers, which are costing an estimated $900,000 a day, the Sea Hunter and future variants could be produced in much greater numbers while expanding its naval role. Thanks for watching.